we have seen that uh, the transistor can be connected in common bees, common emitter and common collector mode. Here we see a comparison of uh, the common bees, common emitter and common collector connection of the transistor with respect to input resistance, output resistance, voltage gain applications. For the common bees, the input resistance is low. Uh, the output resistance is very high. Okay, output resistance is very high. We see it is nearly 450 kilo ohm. This is ohm. So um, the output resistance is very high. Uh, so the output resistance to input resistance ratio, this is very uh, large in common base connection. In common emitter connection, the input resistance is uh, low and uh, the output resistance is also uh, high, uh, 45 kilo ohm. But the ratio, if I take the ratio of output resistance to input resistance, that ratio is uh, less, the value of that ratio is less in the case of common emitter connection than that of common base connection. And when it comes to uh, the uh, common collector mode, which is something very rarely used, okay, uh, the, it has got very high input resistance and low uh, output uh, resistance. And the ratio, uh, this ratio is very, very small, okay ratio is very small, less than 1. Okay, so this is how the uh, input, uh, the ratio of output resistance to input resistance compares in common base, common emitter and common collector connection. And regarding the voltage gain, for uh, this is about 150 for common base and for common emitter uh, this is around 500 and for common collector it is less than 1. Okay, so co common emitter connection, uh, you know, that gives uh, high voltage gain. Applications for high frequency, uh, common base is used for high frequency applications, common emitter is used for audio frequency applications and this is for, uh, you know, rarely used one common collector and uh, so in certain uh, circumstances for impedance matching we are using common collector okay for impedance matching this has got very high input resistance and very low output resistance uh, and for impedance matching that we will see in the coming sections uh, what is this impedance matching and why uh, it is so important uh, in multi-stage amplifiers okay multi-stage amplifiers that we will see later on. The commonly used transistor connection out of the three transistor connections, the common emitter is the most efficient one. Okay, we can see very clearly mainly uh, transistor is used for amplification purpose and here we see it is providing an amplification of around uh, voltage gain of around 500. Okay. So, uh, this is a common emitter connection is the most efficient one. It is uh, used uh, uh, in about 90 to 95 percentage of all transistor applications. Main reasons for the widespread use of CE uh, is, uh, is a high current gain. Okay, high um, current gain. I see, uh, you know, I see is the output current and I be the input current in common base connection. So in common base connection, I see is the output current and I B is the input current. And we have I C as equal to beta I B plus I C U. I B the input current and we get the corresponding, since beta is very large, the beta value is very large, we, we know I C is much larger than I B. So the current gain, since beta value is large, the current gain, uh, the IC is much more than IB and current gain is very, very high. Okay. 
and since current uh, is very high, current gain means output current much uh, greater than the input current. Since current gain is very high, the circuit will give you high voltage and power gain. Due to high current gain, the common emitter the circuit has the highest voltage and power gain, voltage gain. Since the current gain is really large, the voltage gain will be correspondingly large. Then uh, as we discussed, the uh, common emitter circuit has moderate output to input impedance ratio. In C circuit, uh, the input impedance is small. Um, the, uh, the output impedance to input impedance is small, about 50. This comes around 50. So this arrangement is an ideal one for uh, coupling between various transistor stages. Okay. So this arrangement is an ideal one for coupling between. So in these, in other connections, the ratio is very large. Okay. Apo, uh, yes, uh, due to this, uh, uh, the coupling becomes uh, highly inefficient and due to this uh, mismatching. So this uh, yeah, output impedance to input uh, impedance ratio is a very important factor. And the, this factor is very good uh, for the common emitter uh, configuration. Okay. So current gain large, voltage gain large, power gain large. Okay, and the moderate output to in, uh, in input impedance ratio. Okay, now let's see how a transistor is working in common emitter mode as an amplifier. Okay, we are now stepping on to an important section, the use of transistor as an amplifier. See the connection here, we have the transistor Clearly, it is in common emitter connection. Here, we apply the signal. Okay, this is the signal that we apply, which is to be amplified. Its uh, magnitude has to be increased. Uh, this is where we take the output. Across RC, we take the output. Okay. And we have applied bias here. This is a bias to forward bias the transistor. And this is the output circuit and this is used for uh, reverse uh, biasing the uh, transistor in the output circuit. We apply the signal here. Okay, signal is applied here, plus, minus, plus. Uh, IB is the base current. And here, IC, uh, we will uh, just uh, uh, show you uh, what this uh, means. The small IB we are here, here we are using, here we are using I capital C. So, and here we have capital I capital C. Okay. So what that means is, uh, the uh, emitter current uh, for AC, that is uh, small i, for DC it is capital I, and total emitter current. So emitter current, can be due to the bias that we apply, the DC bias that we apply, uh, and due to the signal. Okay, due to the signal alone, the emitter current is this, small ie. Due to the DC, if, if you are not applying the signal, uh, and you just applied the bias, then a current will be flowing through the circuit, and that is the DC current, ie, capital I, capital E. Total current, that is the sum of the DC and AC current that is given by this. Okay, and we have the collector current instantaneous, that is the sum of IC plus small IC and IB the base current is so IB small IB, uh, and uh, VC is there. VC is uh, this is uh, if the if all the symbols are capital letters that denotes DC. Okay, and if all the letters are uh, small case lattice, then it denotes AC. The total is uh, represented like this. Okay, so this is how we represent the currents and voltages. Okay, and uh, during uh, the positive off cycle of the signal, what happens? 
that is what uh, uh, we want to know and during negative half cycle what happens in the circuit suppose that no signal is applied we just connect it straight uh, straight away then dc conditions exist and there will be you know uh, collector current ic the dc current and here the, here will be ib the base current and here will be ie all these are uh, the ie okay all these are the uh, dc uh, currents so when we apply the signal the uh, what happens during positive half cycle this is the positive half cycle on signal and this is a negative half cycle during the positive half cycle here uh, we have plus and minus its magnitude increases so the forward bias on the base emitter junction this is emitter this is base the forward bias on the base emitter junction increases that increases the base current and also it increases the collector and emitter current so this current will increase the collector current will increase okay and during negative half cycle what happens is during negative half cycle this end becomes negative and this end becomes positive the forward bias on the base emitter junction that decreases because the signal is now opposing the this bias voltage which is uh, denoted as v bb okay is opposing this so what happens is uh, uh, the uh, the base current and corresponding to the collector current decreases and the emitter current decreases emitter current collector current everything decreases when the signal uh, is in the negative uh, half cycle so what happens is the ic the current flowing through the collector circuit and through the rc the load resistance that increases and uh, decreases okay that increases and uh, decreases as the signal okay as the signal is applied it increases or uh, decreases then uh, the analysis of the circuit just uh, we we saw this uh, uh, the when no signal is applied input circuit is forward biased by the battery vbb and a dc collector current ic flows in the collector circuit and this is called zero signal collector current the cur collector current that flows through the external circuit uh, even when the signal is not applied okay that is zero signal collector current and when signal is applied during positive half cycle forward bias increases causing total collector current to increase so the increased collector current produces a greater voltage drop across the load resistance rf and during negative half cycle of the signal the forward bias on the base emitter junction decreases therefore the collector current decreases this uh, results in decreased output voltage okay that as as we discussed uh, uh, earlier uh, during the negative half cycle Uh, the collector current decreases and uh, the decreased output voltage in the opposite uh, directions and amplified output is obtained across the load we know uh, the uh, output is ic into rc rc is the collector resistance into ic okay uh, then uh, the uh, so this is what is happening and we know the shape or the magnitude of this is uh, much this is this is much bigger than this one okay this is much bigger than this one okay so amplification of course we take the output across the rc so this is what is happening in a uh, emitter common emitter amplifier or in any amplifier okay the total collector current as we discussed the total collector current consists of two components what are the two, those two components the dc collector current ic which is called uh, uh, the zero signal collector current due to the bias battery vbb uh, the uh, and uh, the ac collector current ic small ic due to the signal so the total collector current is 
uh, IC plus small IC plus capital IC. So uh, the useful output is the uh, voltage drop across the load resistance RC due to this AC component that we will when we analyze the circuit more in, a, in greater details later we will see the useful output is the voltage drop across the RC due to the AC component IC, small IC because this IC is always present this is not changing what is changing is this small IC is changing okay now what is the purpose of the zero signal collector current that is to ensure that the emitter base junction is forward biased at all times okay the purpose of zero signal collector is to ensure that the emitter base junction is forward biased at all times the table below gives uh, uh, okay uh, what that means is during positive or negative half cycle of the signal never the input circuit becomes reverse biased. We have to ensure that the transistor input circuit is always forward biased during the positive or negative half cycle of the signal. Okay, so the VBB that voltage that ensures uh, that the circuit is always in forward biased mode whether during the positive half cycle or negative half cycle of the signal. <coughs> Okay, the uh, as we saw earlier, this is how we represent the emitter current, emitter current is this, and the collector current is this, base current is this, we see that is given by this. Okay, so this is how we represent the instantaneous AC, DC, uh, and we will be following this notation uh, in the analysis of the uh, transistor circuit, amplifier circuit. So, if uh, we are using all lowercase letters, then that means it is due to the signal, okay, due to the AC signal, the varying signal. If we are using all capital case letters, that is due to the DC conditions. And then uh, if one letter is small case, the other letter is uh, what the upper case, then that is the sum. Okay. So uh, this is the sum of this, okay, and this is the sum of this currents. Similarly, this, this also, um, it is the uh, we see. So this is the symbol that we use in analyzing amplifier circuit.